Do you have loads of direct debits and standing orders that you manually enter each month? If so, then we're going to show you how you can use one of the standard Sage import templates to add that information and then import that to hopefully save you a little bit of time. To access the import template from within Sage accounts, just go to help at the top of the screen, down to about, it may just take a few moments to load the support information and then you want to click the link for the program directory. This takes you into the folder where you've installed the software and you're looking for the import templates folder. So we open that and it lists all of the standard templates. Now we can do one of two things at this stage, we can just copy that template or we can open it. Now if we open it, so there we've got the copy, we can then just go file and save as. Uh, what I'll do, I'm just going to save that to my desktop. So I'll pop it on my desktop. I could change the file name as well if I wanted to, but in this instance I'm just going to save it. So that's step one. Our next step is to add the details of our direct debits and standing orders to the template. So let's close out of Sage Accounts. Don't need to back up at this stage. So back to our desktop. There's the copy of the template. Let's have a look at the template. So just open that. It should open in Excel. And what we've got is we've got some headings along the top telling us what information goes into what column. Also we can hover our mouse over the relevant column headings and it tells us more information about what needs to be added in that column. Now all we need to do is complete the information for each of our direct debits and standing orders that we want to import. So we just enter the information so it's complete each row for each of the transactions. Now the sort of turquoisey colour headings are required fields so we must enter something in that column for each transaction that we enter. The yellow columns or the ones with the yellow headings those are optional fields so we can enter if we want to but we don't have to. Now just to speed things up I've already created mine so I've just called it direct debits and orders and there it is I've already completed the information so we got we've got nine transactions ending on line number 10 there. We've also put a, a payment on account there as well so generally they're just going to be bank payments or so BP transactions but if you've got any transactions where you specifically need to post to a supplier you need to enter that as a PA transaction, a payment on account. Obviously you can do it for receipts as well as well as customer payments on account and also journals etc. We're just going to look at direct debits also generally BP transactions. So we'll save that and we're ready to import. Now before you import you must close that file down. Once you've prepared your file with your transactions on we're ready to import. So we'll go back into Sage Accounts, log in and we're ready to import them. Now just before we do import, if we have a quick look at the transactions list, you can see we've got 119 transactions. Now rather than key in those direct debits and standing orders, we can now just import the information as it's included on that spreadsheet. So to do that we go to File and then Import. You'll be prompted to confirm that you want to close any other windows that you've got open, so yes to that it launches the data import wizard. Step one is the welcome and it prompts you to take a backup. Now we'd always recommend that you do that just in case you make a mistake or maybe you import the wrong file. It's easily undone by restoring the backup that you would take at this point. Now just to speed things up I'm going to skip that step. Just click next. You're then prompted what do you want to import? We're going to import audit trail transactions. Click next. We then 
browse for the file so it's an Excel worksheet we then click browse and from our desktop which it's defaulted to we select the file that contains that information so direct debits and orders that's what I've called it highlight it click open it does contain headings because it's one of the standard CH import templates that we've used so leave the box ticked click next everything should be mapped automatically because you're using the template so we don't need to do anything on this screen just click next and then we're ready to import so we click import it reads the information in that file and then writes that into our account so there's the list of transactions that have been entered we can then click close if we go back to transactions we've got our list of bank payments and also that payment on account there so very easy to import our direct debits each month or standing orders to save us time one thing we don't have to do each month is follow that whole process we've got that information saved on a workbook now so what we can do just close out of Sage accounts I'm not going to back up at this stage and we've got our direct debit file saved so once we've imported for say September we can then go in and all we would need to do is amend any values that change the dates obviously we'd then advance them to say October we might even change the day of the month when it's going to actually go out of the account uh, other than that we then save it and we're ready to import again saving us having to key in those nine transactions now there's no limit to the number of transactions you could have on there so if you've got 50 100 you can enter them all on one spreadsheet and then just import them all in one go saving you a lot of time each month and avoiding things like processing errors